Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this one, I am going to talk to you about my favorite or the top 11 mods right now that you need to give a try. This could be anything. Some of these are about adding creatures. Some of these are about different maps. Some of these are about just general QOL things. All of them are awesome mods, and they are things that you need to check out because there's a lot of unique things that they add into the game. Now, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this mode so I can go to the mod area to show you exactly what they are and tell you what they do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to go for. But anyways, let's go ahead and get there. If you do not mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. Um, I'm close to 100k and that's been my dream all along. So if you haven't been to your mods list, basically you can go here and you have three options. Browse mods, installed mods, and my mods. Now, installed mods is the mods that you have. And I'm going to kind of talk to you about these and why you need to try them. The number one that you need to give a try to if you haven't done so already is Svartalfheim. Svartalfheim was actually created in Ark Survival Evolved and the mod maker Necatus transferred it over to Ascended. And it is probably one of the most amazing maps in it. It's, it's Fjordor like with different transportation realms and things along those lines. It's a bigger mod at three gigs but it is a fantastic map that is not just island based with a lot of different stuff that you can add into it. You should for sure check this mod out if you haven't done so already. It's a new experience and especially for players that are console related, this is something you wanna check out. Now, the next thing that you want, if you haven't seen my video, the next thing that you wanna check out is a mod pack actually. The mod pack that you wanna check out is called Gaia. Now, Gaia is probably one of the best mod packs. All you have to do, it's inevitably going to search. It's just going to take six years. Um, but if you search Gaia in the upper right corner of your screen, what will happen is it'll actually bring up the different mods that are named Gaia. Now, the mods that are named Gaia are quite a few right now. He has a whole bunch of stuff. You can see Gaia Danny is the, the mod author. And all of these are awesome mods. None of them are broken. They are super fun for your actual playing and they genuinely add good content. Anything from elixirs that'll give you special abilities, a fishery that makes some of the late game things more doable, a nice auto collector thing that's gonna save you a lot of time if you're dropping things. And one of my favorite things is the Gaia starter pack. This is actually gonna give you a pack in different levels and you can use fiber in order to craft them to give you like very entry level stuff. So it's not broken. It's very uh, early game effective and late game. It's kind of like a support thing. So it's a very useful mod pack that you could definitely check out. Now, the next thing on my list, this is going to be automated arc. Now, automated arc is one of the most popular, basically automated. You just type in automated, you'll end up uh, seeing it. But it's one of the most popular mods in arc right now with 2.4 million downloads. If you haven't given it a try, you need to. Because this mod is essentially ported over from Ark Survival Evolved, what it does is it takes the mundane shenanigans that you have to do inside of Ark and makes them kind of not obsolete. So you basically start off with a console, a control console, and it allows you to do a whole bunch of unique stuff like automatically send things location, pick things up off the ground. It makes things quiet, smaller, more usable. You can see this right here, same as the bigger one, but it's smaller and easier to use. Um, the vacuum picks up everything off the ground. You've got something that'll feed and transfer basically uh, fertilizer and poop. And it basically takes things and sends it to other structures. So you don't have to spend six years walking around your base. And it adds a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Like you can see, these are individual things that you can add egg crates, air conditioners, ant hills that you can use with a frog in order to get. It's a ton. Now, this mod itself is a lot of fun. You should definitely check it out. It's a great thing for solo players and unofficial players in general. Now the next one, another one of my favorite mods still, and it's new to this one in my, as far as I'm aware, is the Imbue and Upgrade Station. This is very similar to the Upgrade Station of the past, but it actually gives you the ability to add specific stats to individual pieces of armor. Now, it's anything from increased health, stamina, and it's all based on a lucky roll. So it's not like you can automatically just get broken stuff. You have to build this, upgrade it from all the way from the bottom, from uh, just primitive to ramshackle, journeyman, all that, the whole process. And then while you do that, you can also roll stat bonuses. And those stat bonuses can increase flak that has the ability to give you warmth boost. And to me, that's really cool. It's a lot of uh, a lot similar to like a massive MMO where you get special custom loot and it's just random. So it's a lot of fun and it's very useful. Now the next on my list, this one is another one that is, I will always have this on any server I play on, Utilities Plus. 
Now, Utilities Plus is a mod that you can search again. Eventually, it's going to actually go. Maybe we'll wait or I'll just go to my mods and click on Utilities because it's one of my first ones. I know it is. Um, so Utilities Plus is a mod that basically allows you. You can see it right here, Utilities Plus, and it's a mod that is going to serve the purpose of things do not break. And I know the description is not loading right now, but basically if you have any of the things that you can kind of see in the picture, you have a grappling hook that's reusable, a reusable parachute for you, a spyglass that's nice, reusable spear, a whip that gets added in, bolas, lasso, and then a um, fireworks gun as well. There are a lot of, like, it's just a QOL mod that you should have no matter what you're doing in ARC. And it's probably one of my favorites in all honesty. Now, the next one is if you don't have these yet, again, these are awesome. Any of the additions ascended creatures, all of them are awesome. They are all tamed in a special way and they all have really unique features. This one is really strong for raiding. This one is really also strong for raiding. This one has some really cool things. If you haven't seen the Ceratorosaurus or whatever it's called, it's crazy. It's got like a healing capability. It's just fun. When you add dinos to your, your arc, you're experiencing something that you've never seen before. And these kinds of mods, when you have the, uh, the R additions, these are just a blast. So add all of these, add them to your server. They are not very hard to run and they are a lot of fun to use these creatures. Now, let's say you don't like that and you want something that's more of a QOL mod. I actually know some of the people in this, but the Architect Structures Remastered is one of my favorite building mods in this game. Now, if I can find it, where is it? It's around here, but uh, basically it adds a structure list that allows you to actually kind of change and tinker with. Here it is. The Architect Structures Remastered with the size of things and it allows you to stack foundations and you can see that here you go, window panes. And it's just behemoth walls. They add a whole bunch of structures that basically existed inside of Structures Plus in the past, and they, it's just an amazing mod that a lot, especially people that are playing PVE or more of a builder centric, this Architect Structures Remastered is going to add a whole bunch of fun things to your arc. Now, again, another one of my favorites of all time. Right now, Shiny Dinos. If you haven't played Shiny Dinos, I don't know where it is on my list right now, but it's probably one of the most balanced, fun to play mods, even on servers. If you run a server and you're not running shiny dinos, I don't know what you're doing because basically you can spawn in dinos, not you. The server every X minutes, 30 minutes or so is going to spawn in a special custom dino that is about just like a tech dino would be a little bit over the server cap and it gives it special abilities or special stats or special colors to it. And you can read this giant thing, but it makes it a lot of fun. It gives you little goals. It gives you every 30 minutes or so. If you have the ability to go tame something, you'd, you'd be surprised how often you would want to run and tame what's on the map. You've got shiny dodos, which are super fun. You've got pteranodons that do crazy things. You've got trikes that light on fire. There's a lot of really cool things that this mod adds, and it's a lot of fun to use. Now, next on my list is another one of my favorite mods. This is new as far as I'm aware, the Glyph Transformations. This mod basically allows you to become a shapeshifter inside of Ark, where you can get enough levels in a single creature and become a dinosaur. Now it is a blast. Basically, you have to get a thousand levels and it'll allow you to actually turn into a dino and then turn back into a regular character by hitting E. Now there's a it's a, still a newer mod, so there's a lot of room they have because it can be a little bit less user friendly and sometimes doesn't work super well. But overall, it's a lot of fun. If you've ever wanted to like play as a dino, this is how you do it. But then you can also go back to being a regular character again. It's a lot of fun now. If you are someone that wants to add in overall stuff into your game, I'm going to show you a mod that I just downloaded and I like a lot where it's going. Additional munitions. This mod adds in specific weapons that'll give you a custom thing, as you see right here, right? And they all add certain types of bullets. It's going to add a knockout thing for the shotgun. It's just nice little features like that that add more content that aren't broken. Not broken is the keyword, like a light machine gun. But in order to use it, you actually have to lay down. It's a lot of fun to use a mod like this. So I encourage you to try this mod out, especially if you're on an unofficial server and you're messing around with some friends. Adding stuff like this in will give you a ton of fun content. Now, last on my list, but certainly not the least, is Death Recovery Mod. If you haven't played with Death Recovery Mod before, basically what it does is it adds a gravestone and that gravestone can be accessed at any point in time in order to pick up all of your loot. Now, the frustrating thing is because inside of this game, uh, 
I don't know how to describe it better than here's a death recovery just so you can see it. Um, it's a recovery stone that's unlocked at level 25 and you walk up to it, hit E, and wherever your character is, it teleports all of the items that were on your character back to your body. Now, yes, it could be a little bit broken, but it's really frustrating in Ark to try and find your character stuff. So definitely check this out in order to actually get access to a really nice quality of life mod. So anyways, that is my top 11 mods right now. Hopefully those are things that you want to check out. I have a lot of other mods. I play a ton of modded servers and I play a ton of mods. So definitely check some of these out. I'll keep the mods coming. If there's something that you want me to show more specifically, or maybe you want me to show mods individually, let me know what you want to see in the comments below and I'll do what I can. But again, if you don't mind, smash that like button and then consider subbing to the channel as well. I'm getting close to 100K and that has been my dream all along. But all right, other than that, teach. Ow.